Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Mac. Welcome back to Throwback, Throwback Addicts. Addicts. So today we've got quite the treat for you. Based on what we're wearing, what do you guys think we might be unveiling today? Hmm. Could be something cat related. Could be something related to something cat related. Is it a Felix clock? Oh, Felix the cat clock could be a thing. Is it a Felix phone? Mm, mm, mm. I think it's Garfield phones, no? There were Garfield phones, no question. But I thought there were Felix phones too. Like Felix was like, I'm not going to let some lasagna eating, having cat take up the whole phone market. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to make some clocks. I'm going to make some phones. And I'm going to be an icon. I'm going to be a contender. Yeah, I mean, considering how greedy Garfield is with his lasagna, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just like, I'm taking over the cat phone market. And Felix is like, no, I want a piece of that action. He's like essentially the Walmart of cats. So let's move on. We're sick of Garfield. Either way, I think we've come up with two ideas that are potentially better than our actual topic today. So yeah. let's get on that. We'll, we'll revisit that later. So anyway. Check it out. Wow. So. Do you remember the Mousetrap theme song? Me? Yeah. yeah. It's Mousetrap is water on... Nope. Anyway, I don't nothing. know what it is. That's not a real thing. <laughs> okay. So, I remember this one. I kind of still sing it to myself every now and then because it's just infused in my infantile brain. So, I've carried it to adulthood. Adulthood. It's a crazy action, a zany contraption. The fun is catching its mousetrap. It's a zany action, a crazy contraption. The fun is catching Wow, that was excellent. Yeah, pulled straight from 90s commercials. Chucky, Bucky, Nucky, and Yucky. <laughs> We've got the whole cheese family, except for the famous cousin. What are their last name? Oh, yeah, yeah, Chucky. Mm -hmm. Thought he was too good after he created a restaurant. We took a peek in this. It does look pretty full, but um, we yeah. never had this game. I don't think we were growing up. I think my parents were wise enough to know we would never be able to keep this many parts in one place. Or out of our mouths. So let's crack it open. Yeah, let's see what we got. With uh, stuff like this from the thrift store, it's always a mixed bag. You never know if you're going to get just destroyed pieces, incomplete parts. But it ooh, makes it more exciting, doesn't it? Right off the bat, it's a good sign because we've got a board and we've got instructions. Okay, so you can yeah. usually fake your way through games with stand-in pieces and stuff most of the time. Just because a game is missing a part doesn't mean you shouldn't enjoy it from the thrift store. You just right. gotta get creative, you know, use like a Sometimes little Lego or something. Sometimes you miss the figurines. Yeah, you use a Lego character, a Sarge's army, man. Whatever you gotta use to get through the, the game. The thing with this game is I'm pretty sure it's all just a series of like Home Alone inspired sort of contraptions yeah, and traps. It's like if Home Alone and Shoots and Ladders was a game. With mice. With mice. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we can't really be missing too many pieces on this, otherwise we might have to customize one, which is possible. Yeah, so totally. Hopefully we got most of them. And uh, why let's you... check it out. Yeah, yeah let's start pulling out. things out. Do we have like a reference here? Okay, that was easier said than done. Perfect. We've got a whole instruction set of every piece that's available, so we're just gonna run through them real quick with you. We've got the yellow base A. Got it. Boom. We've got two, the gear support. It's a blue piece, kind of like a triangle. Oh, these have little numbers right on them. That's nice. great. So we can just reference right away. Three, it's a red gear. Got you it. To it. Green crank, number four. Crank it up, baby. Crank Smith with the cranks. I'm sorry. <laughs> number five, gear number five, it's yellow. Boom. Got All it. the gears got the same kind of shit. Um, number six, stop sign and rubber bond. Now, do Stop we have a regulation rubber band in there? A mousetrap regulation oh, rubber band? Oh my gosh. You don't want to be popping rubber bands that aren't regulation. That's how you shoot your shoot eye, your eye out, out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> um, number seven, lamppost. It's a yellow guy. We got, oh, look at this boot. Ooh, that's the next piece, number eight, the boot. Oh. I wonder what that was for. Probably to boot someone. All right, we need the escalera, the blue stairway. Stairs. And it's got some supports in there with it, too. Okay, we got these. Boom. Bucket and marble. Ooh, original ball bearing, dude. In our household, this would have definitely ended up in somebody's mouth. So Swallowed. It's good that we're adults now. We don't have these things in our bodies. Uh, number 11, yellow base B. Big piece, yeah. Um, 
12, red rain gutter. Ooh, go ahead and just give this the old college try. <laughs> okay, we still have the ball bearing. No tragedies. All averted today. Um, number 13, we've got some miscellaneous plumbing that looks like there's hands coming out of it. Got it. Smart. Um, the helping hand is a blue post with a green hand on top. This makes me so happy. <laughs> Wait, real quick. Just let me get a high five in here. Okay. Essential. 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 All right. We've got uh, the thingamajig. It's a red thing that you majig. A thingamajig. Perfect. Chinganera. Uh, we've got a uh, bathtub, number 16, red Sick. bathtub. Sick. Number 17, just another loose marble. You got another ball bearing dude, in there? you got it. Still in packaging, dude. You remember uncrinkling these? That's how you knew you got a good action figure. Um, We've got the diving board, the trampoline. Got it. Nice. The diver himself, which is a, ooh, a little gust. <laughs> There's some mofus on this guy. He's got peanut butter in his uh, nether regions, so. Something about peanut butter is so uncleanable that, like, you might find peanut butter attached to something you bought from, like, 30 years ago, yeah. and it just still smells like peanut butter. Agreed. I will say, is it even a game or a toy, though, if it doesn't get a little peanut butter christening at it, some it point? It hasn't gotten that old champagne bottle on the boat. Totally. Okay. Also, peep this guy's face. <laughs> What's Amazing. He doing? What's he doing? <laughs> he looks like a fish alien person. Okay. But it's okay because he's ready to do the diving. Right on. We've got AC. It's like a X-Men. X-Men. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm looking for a yellow wash tub. Got that. Boom. Uh, yellow cage post. Sawtooth. Boom. And then finally, El Cagerino. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. We've, we've got, got all the parts. Nice all right, that means we're ready to play. Dude, my games being complete from the thrift store, we are just literally heading for the hat trick. Firing on all cylinders here. All right, so, we've got our game pieces. I'm green, house rules. Wait, yucky cheese. We've got ducky cheese. We've got bucky cheese and James cheese who's not loved by the family and therefore didn't get a rhyming name. Okay, so I'm green. What are you going to pick? I'm going to pick James Cheese. Okay. <laughs> so I think sense. I'm pretty sure that you set this game up. You just assemble it. You got some loose cheese in there. Tons of cheese. Loose cheese slices. Loads. Good for everyone. So we've got some instructions. We've got some setup to do. I think we're, we're, we're going to cut to that or? I think we should set it up and then kind of just mess around with it a little bit. And then sure. at a later date, we can kind of figure out if we want to actually play a full round or customize Sounds or whatever. Sounds perfect. Do something Great. fun with it. Yeah. Great. All right. On to adult shoots and ladders. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> That's great. Why did they call this cheese and crackers? That's hilarious. Because it doesn't fit the prototype. Okay, it's a zany action, a crazy contraption, contraption a fun snack action, cheese and cracker. <laughs> Snake. Nope. It's still bad. Steak, dude. Come on, we got it. Oh my lord! I'm good at that. Why does this keep happening? Go ahead and spank that strength. There it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> clockwise? Counterclockwise. No. This way. Which is clockwise. We bend. Okay, for the final time. That's the wrong way. What am I cranking it? Yeah, you're doing it the right way. Am I? Yeah, because it's supposed to cause it to pull back like that and then slap it once you go past it. So this way. You got it, dude. You're doing it all right. Just okay. like a couple more turns and it's all going to go off. Oh, baby. Oh, you gotta be flipping, joking me! For this a billion time. I guess I don't really care. Ah! Yeah! What's up? All right, 
So smashing success. Whoa. Right? Literally. Not only every piece. But functioning within degrees of full functionality. I will say, um, I understand why my parents never bought this for us. We did have to take at least one frustration there break. There may have been some moments where it felt like we weren't going to make it to the end of this video. But, but in general, I'm super hype on yeah, this. Yeah, it's super fun. I mean, it makes me want to make my own Rue Goldberg machine. It makes me want to make modified rules to this game. Yep. We might be seeing as many as a thousand. Check that. Two or three support videos based on mousetrap. Agreed. And now that we've done the hard part of figuring out how to put it all together, I do think it would go to together a little bit easier next yeah, time. Yeah, we can definitely not take like an hour and a half to set it up. Yeah, that was rough. Which is how long it took. I will also say that um, it's probably going to be a while before you see another one of these videos because we definitely lost the second ball bearing and considering the length of time it took us to find the first lost ball bearing. <laughs> the <laughs> We may be going to take a little mousetrap break. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that when we find it, it's going to be because I slip on it. So there's going to be some injury time, too, we need to worry about. So mousetrap was fun, but I think we're okay putting it in our back pocket until we absolutely need it again. Yeah, agreed. For those of you at home who never grew up with mousetrap or never tried it out, if you see it for cheap somewhere, give it a try. It's complicated. It's basically like a sell-up from Shoots and Ladders, but um, overall... I had a blast. Me too. Yeah. Thanks for checking out our video. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Have a great day. Oh, you gotta be flipping it. Joking me.